I've seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. 'Cause when we're doing our thing, we're like wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 now, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about 'em tonight. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It is literally like so humid out today that it's like it's too hot. It's too humid. It's too hot. I was literally like overheating. So I'm back inside in the air conditioning where I feel much better, but. I feel like leading this vlog is gonna be exciting because I bought my boyfriend some clothes because my boyfriend, bless his heart, is just not the kind of guy who buys himself clothes. He's just not one of those guys, you know? It's not a priority to him to buy new clothes. It's not something he thinks about. But I was like, I wanna treat you and get you some new clothes because a lot of his clothes he's had for a really long time and it was just time for a refresh. A refresh, he's not like me. I get new clothes like every year, okay? <laughs> Shopping problem. And I'm gonna get him to like try some of them on later and see how they fit. You know, hoping everything fits properly. Cause you know, ordering online, always a risk. Okay, Aiden's here. <gasps> I'm gonna draw it, <laughs> just one-handed. Here you go. <laughs> you should do like a haul, show each thing. And then after you can try on certain things and see what they look like on you. I thought I was coming here for food. No. <laughs> Also, please disregard that I didn't make my bed this morning. Not a productive queen every day. <laughs> okay, so top is like t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Some of these I was like, I don't know if you'll like them, but I like them. So this one's just plain, that's number one. It's just like a, like a Lulu. It's nice, eh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice fabric. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. This is the one where I'm like, I don't know if you'll like it, but if you don't like it, I'll steal it and wear it. Okay, this one's, it's a Woodstock t-shirt. I thought it was cool. Yeah, this is a pretty cool t-shirt. Look at the back, it's got stuff on the back too. I thought it was sick. Yeah, that is really cool. I do like this a lot. I thought it was sick. That was the one I was like iffy. I was like, I don't no, know I if you'll like it. No, this is pretty, this is pretty cool. It's a medium. Like got a long fit for a medium. Well, we'll try it's it. It's cause on. it's probably cause it's like a band tee. Yeah, well this is a band tee. Yeah, I know, but that one's small fitting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I, this next one. This one's Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's anything music is, is good. I thought Nirvana yeah. was a good like choice. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one too. Anything music, like music related. I yeah. thought you would like that one. Cause they had a bunch of different bands, but then I was like, I don't know which bands. And then I was like, I feel like everyone likes Nirvana. <laughs> oh, you got it, of course. But um, I think I went, th I went through the phase of like, College outfits, yeah. Like schools, um, although now, the hats are still cool. But then, like, I think the band stuff's like. See now, now you're a band guy. Oh yeah. Well, See, this I've, one's I've like been just a cool band. graphic. It's like NYC athleisure. Yeah. I thought it was cool. That is pretty cool. That is really cool. I do like this a lot. Too. Oh, I'm yeah. so good. Yeah, this you're is, doing well. They're this cool. is a, like a dressier shirt. Yeah. That's Which I thought was like jeans, you know, if you're going out to a restaurant. Is that why nice. you wanted me to wear these black jeans? Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. try it on. Well, you can tell it's already nice. Yeah, that was like, I was thinking like, a, oh, I have to go somewhere nicer shirt. Because I know you yeah. always wear that white one, so I was like, you need more options. This is the patterned one. Ooh. Oh, me in the corners? <laughs> Next up, this is another like dressier kind of shirt. It's like a polo, but it's like a knit one. Yeah. And it's like a bit tighter fitting, I feel like. Oh, that's yeah. what look like on the on the person, you yeah, know? Cool. More form fitting. Looks like a golf shirt. Yeah, kind of, but I feel like you wear jeans and it'd be like nice, you know? Yeah. Because it's like knit. This next one, it even says about the fabric, sweat wicking. I was like, oh, this is this is Aiden's date shirt. <laughs> he gets nervous. This is my everyday shirt. On dates with me. <laughs> That's nice too. It's like a dress here. See, that looks good with your black jeans too. Yeah. This is why I said you need black, like, sneakers, and then it's like a look. No, white. No. Yeah. Depo no. White, yeah. Comment down below black or white, white sneakers. White. White. <laughs> all white. All white. He needs both a black pair and all, white. Pair. All black shoes. Not all black. I said white laces, remember? Black with white laces? Yeah, like Converse. Just like black low top Converse. Those mm. would look good. Like Vans? Or you do Vans. The old school Vans are nice. You know well, the that, old school that, ones? That would make sense. Yeah. yeah. That would make sense. But That's what I'm thinking. So you're thinking 
I'm thinking all black shoes. Which like is I'm not going, what I'm ever thinking. Well, no, that's like going back to high school. Okay, then these are the shorts. So this is the first pair. These ones are like, wear them all the time shorts. You can swim in these. Oh, these? They're like, you can go from chilling to swimming to anything in them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what literally said on them. It was like you can swim in them, you can go shopping, run errands in them. Cool sport tr trunk. Yeah. That's what they call it. yeah See, look, cool. you can wear them with like these t-shirts, and that'll look nice together. See the blue? Mm. Yeah. Blue. Ooh. White sneakers. That'll look good. I'm definitely gonna have to get used to color on the bottom. I'm always black. I know, gray. but that's why I only got one pair because I was like, just switch it up. No, that's definitely nice. These ones are like dark gray, oh, and they're cool. like everyday casual short. Yeah, I, I feel like you'd wear those the most. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then the nice. last pair is like a dressier short. So if you have to go somewhere, but you want to wear shorts, <laughs> they're like yeah. linen. Linen. Yeah. Like your pillow. These ones I feel like you'll never wear, but you know what? You can just have them. <laughs> Wardrobe, you know what? These, or do you need them? No, but these are like golf shorts and like that golf shirt. Yeah, you so. could wear them together actually. When I showed my mom the stuff, that's what she said to wear together. Yeah, that makes so much sense. It's like a, it's a dressy outfit. Okay, so now you gotta try on some stuff in the outfit. Okay. This is so fun for me. It's like. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. What should I try on first? I don't know. Let me just jeans. let me plan an outfit. Okay, guys. Here's the first shirt. A perfect fit. Perfect. I did so good. <laughs> you look so handsome. Okay, next outfit. <laughs> All right, guys, number two, coming in hot. We got the black button-up floral. What do you rate it out of five? I know this maybe one. Like, I think uh, this one was a five. So maybe like a like let's say like a four point five. Yeah, because this is a five, right? This one. You like this one better? I, I don't know. It's hard to decide. <laughs> I gotta see which one I wear more. <laughs> okay, next one. The shorts look so good. These are ones I was like unsure about. I love it. What were we saying? You look like you if are. I, if I followed through and actually went to Harvard, I would come out looking like. Yeah, like a literal <laughs> frat boy. Right now. Oh, preppy, preppy dude. Preppy. What do you call it? Um, old money. That's what you look like. Old money. Old money. Yacht money. Yacht money. Yeah. Oh, yacht money, baby. All right. So this is my personal favorite T-shirt that I picked out. I wanted to seal it for myself, but it looks too good on Aiden that I guess he gets to keep it. <laughs> we'll see how long before you go ahead and steal it. I know. Place. And then these shorts, perfect fit. See, I was a little, oh, dog hair ones though. You gotta yeah. be careful, yeah. bring lint rollers. Lint roller. I was gonna say, before we go to Vancouver, we're gonna have to lint roll all of our clothes so that they can all arrive with no dog hair on them. Seriously, yeah. I'm so glad, you know, cause I was worried about picking up the shorts cause I like just ordered medium. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Cause like, I never know what size, but they fit you like perfect. Last fit, we got the Nirvana t-shirt. And the blue shorts. Little risk with the blue shorts. Like you said, you don't really wear colored bottoms. Yeah, but it works with this shirt, that's for sure, because of the blue. Yeah, yeah I, I planned that. <laughs> <laughs> I picked that as a matching outfit. Yeah, this is, this is nice. I like this one too. I love it. I, uh, I don't think I really have any, like, bad critiques. I, no? You, you like everything? Well. Yeah, so thank you very much. Out of five, in total, what would you rate me? You know that, the TikTok? Yeah, five. So that was my um, haul with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> boyfriend haul. Boyfriend haul challenge. Yeah. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. Of the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it Hello everybody and happy Thursday. I am 
it's Friday. <laughs> Happy Friday. I'm so excited. Today's the day. Stores have opened. I mean, there's a huge capacity limit. Like, there's lines everywhere. I'm in, at, like, a shopping center. And the lines outside of some stores, whew, the line outside of HomeSense, that shit was crazy. But anyways, I'm about to go into chapters or lineup. I'm not sure if there's a line or if I can just go in. But we're going to go in and we're going to do book shopping in a store. I'm so excited and then later I'm going with Aiden to go pick up a pair of shoes that he has on hold and it's just exciting being able to uh, shop in person again so I'm wearing a cute outfit and I'm excited let's go in or wait in line we'll find out <laughs> So far I got five books, a little bit excessive, but I haven't been to bookstore in a while and I'm excited. I actually wanted a six book, but I don't know if that's a little bit aggressive. So I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but we got a pile here. I got a lot of books, I bought six books. <laughs> but in my defense, I had birthday money that's been sitting there since April, just cash that I haven't been able to spend because we've been in lockdown. So I used that to buy the books and I have no regrets, okay? Okay, I'm back home. I got my Nana of the Plant and the cards. That is all good to go now, but I thought I would give you guys oof, my book haul while I'm here before we carry on with the rest of this video. First one that I picked up was Malibu Rising. I've been waiting for this book. I had it on my like to be read list when it still wasn't out yet because I just thought that it sounded really, really, really amazing. So it takes place in Malibu in 1983. Nina Riva's annual end of summer party and the anticipation is at a fever pitch. Everyone wants to be around the famous Rivas. Nina, the talented surfer and supermodel, brothers Jay and Hud, one a championship surfer and the other renowned photographer and their adored baby sister Kit. Together the siblings are a source of fascination in Malibu in the world over, especially as the offspring of the legendary singer Mick Riva. The only person not looking forward to the party of the year is Nina herself, who had never wanted to be a center of detention and who has also just been very publicly abandoned by her pro tennis player husband. Oh, and maybe Hud, because it is a long past time for him to confess something to the brother from whom he's been inseparable since birth. Jay, on the other hand, is counting the minutes until nightfall when the girl he can't stop thinking about promise she'll be there, and Kit has a couple secrets of her own, including a guest she invited without consulting anyone. By midnight, the party will be completely out of control. By morning, the Riva Mansion will have gone up in flames, but before that first spark in the early hours before dawn, the alcohol will flow, the music will play, and the loves and secrets that shape this family's generation will all come rising to the surface. Malibu Rising is a story but one unforgettable night in the life of a family, the night they each have to choose what they will keep from the people who made them and what they will leave behind. Then next up, I picked up this book because it was 20% off and this is such an like popular book right now. It's The Invisible Life of Addie Lore, I think. So basically it's about this girl who lives forever, I'm pretty sure, like she doesn't die. So she has to live kind of like an invisible life because she can't let anyone get too close to her because yeah, I think that's what it is. I heard that the Luke character in this is really interesting. So I picked this one up mainly because it was on sale. I had to get this book. You guys know I just finished Beach Read and this is also from the same author. It's called People We Meet on Vacation. A lot of people messaged me on Instagram telling me to read this book when I talked about Beach Read. So I had to pick it up. Then I picked up this book. I'm pretty sure this is a Canadian, it is a Canadian author. We love to support that. This one's called The Secret Path. Every step leads me back to you. At just 20 years old, Tara Tremaine has everything. She's a trainee doctor engaged to the man of her dreams a passionate American biology student called Alex Carter, but just when life seemed perfect, Alex portrays her in the worst possible way. Alex, what did you do? Probably cheated on her. She's moved on with a successful career, good friends, and a man who loves her. But when she's pulled back into her wealthy family's orbit for an unmissable party in the heart of Costa Rica, she finds herself flung into a crisis. A child is desperately ill, and the only remedy is several days trek away, right in the heart of the jungle. There's only one person who can help, but it's the man who shattered her heart a decade before. And how can she trust him, of all people? I got another book from a Canadian author, I believe. Don't quote me, maybe this isn't a Canadian author, I thought it was. This one's called The Push. 
So this is like a family thriller kind of book. The Push is a rare, extraordinary gift to readers. It's an utterly immersive novel that will challenge everything you think you know about motherhood, about what we owe our children, about what really matters behind the closed doors of even the most perfect looking families, and about what it feels like when women are not believed. Then last up, this is a book I haven't heard anything about, but I saw it and I thought it looked really interesting. This is like an adult fantasy read, like a standalone, and it sounds really confusing, but interesting. And I was like, I'm just gonna try it out and see what's up, see what's popping with this book. Heather is sleeping peacefully after the birth of her twin daughters when an explosion jolts her awake. Stumbling outside with her babies, her husband, and her husband, she finds that her city has been destroyed by falling meteors and that her little family are among only a few who survived. But the mountain that looms over the city is still green, somehow spared the destruction. When she was a child, Heather's dad took her up to that forbidden place on a misguided quest to heal her legs damaged at birth. The tragedy that resulted has shaped her life, bringing her both great sorrow and an undying connection to the mountain and the beings she and her dad encountered that day. Estefan, a centaur born of sorrow and an ancient, impossible love, and his two siblings marooned between the magical and the human world. Even as the city survivors struggle to stay alive, led by Tasha, a doctor who fled to the city with her wife and other refugees, Heather constantly looks to the mountain, drawn by love, by fear, by the desire for rescue. Amanda Luddock's brilliant novel woven with fairy tales of her own devising and replete with both catastrophe in magic is a fable for uncertain times, a vision of what happens when we ignore the natural world in the darker parts of our own natures. I'll let y'all know. But yeah, those are all the books I got. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I didn't show you guys Aiden shopping for shoes yesterday. Honestly, Sport Check was kind of a shit show. Like, I feel like there was 8,000 people doing returns at the same time. But Aiden got his shoes, even though it took us like an hour in line <laughs> to purchase them. Show them off, show your new goods. It's a Reebok. Yeah. Wait. What inspired this purchase? Just a little treat. Yeah? Yeah, to treat myself, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so I decided to do it. Let me see with the fit, let me see with the fit. To do this. Oh, oh. Oh my God, that is a fresh fit. That is a fresh fit right there. Oh, How God. do you feel? I feel... I feel like I could go for like a run right now. I don't know. You feel like a new guy? Yeah. Yeah, you can say that, yeah. New yeah. shoes. Who this? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. It's a lot later now. I just finished getting ready to go to the patio for lunch. I'm so excited. This is my outfit. I'm just wearing this little crop top and matching skirt from Aritzia. I love it. It's so cute. I'm just gonna wear like sandals with it. I have like all my jewelry on, my bracelets, necklace, earrings. Put my hair in this high ponytail and braided the wraparound thing to make it look a little bit nicer. And yeah, this is like the fit. The outfit for today. I'm lending my friend Natalie two books, literally two of my like favorite reads. So I'm lending her The Silent Patient. You guys know this is like the best thriller book I've ever read probably. And then Beach Read, which was my last like favorite read that I read. It was just such a good book. So I'm gonna lend her both of these to read. We love sharing books up in here. This is my bag I'm wearing today, my Princess Polly one that I'm obsessed with. It's literally perfect for the summer. And yeah, I don't know what sandals I'm gonna wear. I also really need a pedicure. <laughs> Can nail salons please open in Ontario? Because it's like, I need it. I need it. It's only 1.35, so we're not leaving for an hour. So I think I'm gonna have like a snack or something right now to hold me over until our late lunch, dinner, dinner, lunch, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it that we're having. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along because I'm excited to have a reason to leave my house. Yes. I made myself my smoothie, my tropical smoothie. It's like a protein smoothie. I added two scoops of my Tropica Lean Protein. And I have my dragon fruit mix in here, a banana, some orange juice. Literally like a tropical explosion. It's delicious. Cheers. I will see y'all at the patio. Oh, I'm so excited. I just got home. It was 
so nice to just be with friends on a patio at a restaurant. Like, oh, I miss that so much. And the drinks were good. The food was pretty good. It was just a good time. And I'm back home now. I literally ate the last night. It was three. It's seven now, I think. So I'm making dinner. I'm just having spaghetti. You know, I feel like that's like my go-to. We don't really have anything to make. And I was like, well, I guess spaghetti with tomato sauce and Parmesan. It is. And then I'm just gonna like curl up on my couch and watch like some Netflix or something. Or maybe I'll watch, watch more of Rain because I need to catch up on that. I stopped. I watched like so much in one day and then I haven't watched it since. <laughs> I like binged it and then just have to take like a week off from watching it. So I might watch some of that. We will see. I'm just in my PJs. You know how it is. I was gonna wash off my makeup, but it still looks pretty good. You know when your makeup like looks good still and you don't wanna wash it off? Let me know if that happens to anybody else. Like I really should wash it off, but like it just looks so good. That like I feel like I can't. Just not yet. My mom's just at her friend's house, so it's just me and the pepperinos, right, Ozzy? Best friends, right? <laughs> also, I feel like I'm getting a headache from this point I'm trying to loosen it. Look at it right now. Oh no. How freaking good does this look right now? Like this is everything I've ever wanted. I'm just here with Kai Bear. We're just hanging out. I'm gonna eat all of this because I'm starving and it literally looks delicioso. Amazing. Mouth watering. This is my favorite meal ever. Someone take me to Italy because I would love every second of it and I would eat pasta three times a day. Hello everybody, it is Sunday. I've just been working on editing this video, doing some accounting stuff. I put on my self tanner. I'm really just having kind of like a work in the house self care day, I feel like, since I have my self tanner on <laughs> for the day. And I have to leave this one on for like six hours, so. We ain't leaving the house, okay? But yeah, I've just been working on this video and I just came on here to end it off. And I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. I really enjoyed this one because I feel like life is finally kind of going back to normal in Ontario. Like we can like socialize again legally, which is nice that I can like go to a patio and go to a store. It's just honestly like so good for my mental health. Like I feel so happy and I just felt so good to like socialize with people like more. Like in a weekend, like I used to do every weekend, like it's just so nice. And I'm just hoping from here on out, things are just gonna look up and get better and gyms will open. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. You guys know I read every single comment. I love reading your comments so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.